just I'm just having fun. I'm playing a game, you know. <laughs> Some people like winning's fun, but man, having fun is real fun. First, we're on the draw. We have an uncastable stash. We've got to protect the sword. Sword does help us if we're behind. We don't. I guess we keep this. It's not great. It's not great. Yeah, Ozzelotti, my god. Had me sweating there for a sec. Ship it? I could see ship in this too. It doesn't have Righteous Fury. Or any of our one drops. I don't know. Yeah, Steward of Prosody, man. What a jerk. Oh, crap. We against Praxis go wide? We against Praxis go wide? I don't know. It's like, how much can you change the UI for a card game? It's like, you got a board, and you got cards, and you got a dude, and you got your health, and you got totems, right? You gotta have totems. Have the mulligan to find Righteous Fury? Righteous Fury will find us when we need it. We'll, it'll find us when we need it. So far, we don't need it. But when we do... See, I knew we were gonna draw this, so now we have this. That's pretty sweet. How does Praxis go wide win against Righteous Fury? It doesn't. We've already won this game. It's just a formality at this point. Now that I've said that, we're finally going to lose. And I will be truly liberated. Uh, I can't protect it. Them's the beats. Does this actually have any targets in there? What? Wow. Our opponent's playing Constructed. Except, I don't know what this is doing in their deck. But our opponent's playing Constructed. Maybe I played these in the wrong order. I doubt it. Does this game have a site for net decking? Kind of. There's just a big wipe, so, like, the meta's kind of in flux. Huh. Sure. Somehow we're playing the long game instead of the short. That's weird, right? Ooh. That's better than playing Sword of Akaria. So, we're randomly turned into Armory here. Alright, here comes a big unit that we're going to have trouble dealing with until we draw Righteous Fury. Because... Wow! Wow! Damn! That's strong. Echo. Man, if I block with everything, how can I draw Righteous Fury? It's been a pleasure. They have a combat trick. What do they have? They just missed lethal? You gave your twin bird seropod charge? And you didn't kill me with it? You just set up the coolest shit in the world and you can't even kill me with it? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. You had the nut, and you don't even kill me with it. That's just rude. That's just rude. Also... Centaur Raid Leader with Echo Units. That's sweet. That's sweet. How have I never thought of that? How have I never thought of that?
Man, and they war cried it. Man, that's sweet. Something tells me Praxis is going to be sick when they, like, start supporting cards for it. That was sick. Like, that was a super cool deck, right? Makes me want to draft Praxis. I mean, that was just, like, everything Praxis wants to do. Charging big units, buffing things, going wide at the same time, play Torch. The Mulligan all or nothing. Yeah, the Mulligan system certainly a contentious thing. Um, basically, you Mulligan and get into another hand of seven, but it's guaranteed to have two to five power. And power is mana in this game. So. Yeah, Centaur Raid Leader, Soulfire Drake with Ageless Mentor? Like, how is... That sounds sick, right? Ageless Mentor, Soulfire Drake. I'm gonna go brew this up. It's gonna suck, but it's gonna be fun. You just, like, charge all the things. We could draw anything other than power. I would... I'd be happy. Yeah, Ageless... I love Ageless Mentor plus anything. Like, it doesn't take much to talk, talk me into that. Yeah, whatever, it's stunned. We're still at this much life. Turns out giving any unit like plus two, plus two is real good. Do I take him off power and choke him on this Eye of Winter? I think so. Like, it makes that Eye of Winter a lot harder to use if we're choking them on power. Your Darude got flying. Charge Darude incoming! Oh man, you can play Praxis Displacer? That's like my favorite thing to do. Oh, come on. Now this is just getting rude. Well, that's not worth protecting. So, we're gonna get a Sword of Akari and kill this, probably. Do we care about this? Would we rather get a Helm and charge their face? Oh. Well, that's better than everything I was thinking of. That was just straight up better than anything else I was thinking of. We're going to play this out because they don't really have removal for this. Well, we could have waited to protect it or something, but yeah. So now we just need to draw Righteous Fury, which this can't draw. What? What combat trick does six extra damage in a lesion? I have no idea. It would have to be block, ping, sky, like, Wivark? Wivark? Lightning Storm? Just a bunch of... Whatever, we'll take the damage. We'll wait to see. Gust? Gust. But if they have Gust, yeah, so it's Wivark. It's Wivark. If it was Gust, they would have just pinged and, and killed it, right? Like, Gust, they don't have to do that attack. Let's take out the inevitable clock. Because that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, because if it was Gust, they would just ping Gust, right? So it had to have been Skycrag Wibark. It's protecting this relevant on this turn. Get in for five. I mean, they can still kill our weapon either way. It is locked down for two turns. We gotta draw Righteous Fury. Bah! Come on deck, we got this. I believe in you. They had to do it pre-combat, didn't they? I think I actually have to do this. Because if they play another unit, I could be dead. Yes, sick! Oh! Oh, yes! 
I told you it shows up only when we need it. I'm zooming in with both because if they don't. <laughs> yes, let me assign the damage while I kill my opponent. Boom! GG! Five and one. Five and one. Had to recognize that, uh... The really tricky turn, other than the A spacing all the time, was recognizing that Skycrag with Arc turn, right? The Skycrag with Arc turn. So that's just kind of like, why the hell are they making this attack? And what should we do about it? Oh yeah, one more win and Lava Blood Goliath comes in. Oh man. Let's see here, we're on the draw. With all of our expensive cards and a district inventory, this could probably get there. So pr playing the protect there was really important, right? Because they ended up having to double block the other dude. We got through for lethal that turn. That was sick. This is sick. Oh god, you get to go district inventory and then war helmet right away. But they have lightning. They have Lightning Strike open. They have Lightning Strike open. But all I know is A space equals face. It's all I know. It's all I know. I can't not do that. It's all, it's all I've ever known, guys. I've got a confession to make. Yeah! You haven't seen a single shadow card? You haven't seen our smuggler stash? Because that's that's it, actually. Now, how do we want to use this Righteous Fairy, right? That's the question. Serpent Trainer. It's a lot like Megan Trainer. When you think about it. Yeah, sick draws! Oh, this deck. This deck is not fair. This deck's not fair. <laughs> this is stupid. Everything that is happening here is dumb. We just get to we just curve down into dudes and removal. It's not going to do anything. Our deck is here to A space your face. And we draw the justice sigil. The world's not fair, Cody Khan. I am a I am sorry, dude. The world's not fair. Chump block or die. He is. Cody Khan's given up. The whole turn five kill. Turn five kill, no one drop. No problem. All right, boys and girls. I'm a man of my word. Gentlemen's ladies and all other fellows of the sort. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, Step Links is a good card when it hits for three instead of two. Um, Alright, so we get that in there. And we gotta cut one other thing for an extra power, right? Or we just play 18? We just play 18. YOLO. We just have to draw half our power? Alright, so the key is to type in the word blood and you get a legendary. Type in the word blood and you get a legendary. Yeah, played a GOP, right. Just type blood for a legendary. Um, do we want 19 power? Maybe you cut the blaze. No, blazing renegade, sweet. 420 blazing. Um, yeah, step links hit for four is the issue. We do not have fetch lands yet. Cut an infantry for a power? That seems backwards. I'd maybe cut this treasury guard. All he does is die to torch, right? But having a endurance double damage lifesteal seems good. How do I know how many powers to add to a deck? Is 14 typical? You can't even do 14. Uh, 18 to 19. Or 17 to 19 is typical. Seek power does not count as power. That's true. 
Well, it can't it can't count as power, but it doesn't count as power. I wish it did. I feel like we just need the three drop, right? Protect is necessary. Eh, we have an inspire, so it's like eighteen and a half power, right? Eighteen and a half power. We're never casting this card, except when we do. <coughs> now let's cut something. Treasury Guard, Blazing Renegade. Blazing Renegade? Blazing Renegade. All right, done. Inspire is not a power. That's cute. That's true. It's like, if your deck's a third of a power, it's like a third of a power, right? Rifle! Oh, real Milkman. Oh, real Milkman. Did you miss, did you miss our combo kill with Rifle? Did you miss it? Did you miss that game? We're not cutting rifle. That thing's been MVP. Yeah, and raising, Blazing Renegade's been dece. It's pretty good when you give it double damage lifesteal. I don't know. It's between Blazing Renegade and the 2-3 uh, Endurance, right? I think we need the 3-drop. Well, you see, Milkman, we had a unit with double damage and lifesteal. And when you put rifle on it, that rifle does 6 damage to your opponent and gains you that 6 life. Which is good. It's a good thing. And then you stash it back, and then we did it again and killed our opponent. So it was pretty cool. And that'll be on YouTube, because I'd be insane to not put this draft on YouTube and have people think they can draft Double Righteous Fury. Six, six, six. Soon done. Speaking of soon, keep. I mean, you beat anything by just attacking it, right? That's how you win. You hit A in space. Oh, jeez. We're going to gain all the life. This is all life gain. Pure, unadulterated life gain. Jeez. Put it off to the six start. Six starts from the opponent. Ooh, stop right there, buddy. Valkyrie Aspirin said, "You man, two Lumen Shepherds. Constructed deck based off this. Yeah, at some point. Whoa, hey. Dessert Marshall says, stop. Dessert Marshall says, stop. All right, Desert Marshal, we'll chill. I go rapid shot on YouTube. Was that this? Was that this run? No, that was a different run. I don't know if I'll put that whole run on. That somebody can like highlight it or something. Yeah, our opponent is asking for a plague, which I guess is rude of me to say. Yeah, we got stash. Time to throw out some units. Uh, he played a 3-3. Three, three. That's kind of cheating, isn't it? It's an interesting... Okay. Count it! Oh, God! They've got two giant Lumen Shepherds! What are we gonna do? This is silenced. <laughs> I think we know what we're gonna do. I think we know what we're gonna do. They double block here. We're assembling the combo again. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. The question is, do I attack? I don't think so. We already have the combo. We already have the combo. Hey now, hey now, don't dream it. God, he has three sigils in play. He can just play Lumen Shepherd. Hey now, hey now, when the world comes in, they come, they come to build a wall between us, and they know they won't win. 
Because I'm driving my car. And there's a hole in the roof. <laughs> Alright, so we have a bit more life now. Just gotta run it back eventually. We'll get down the owl first, I guess. And then we'll then we'll reset it up. Then we'll reset it up. We'll stop this shenanigans from happening. They can crack in with this. We we have a bit of a life buffer now. We have a bit of a life buffer. So Ooh wee! Okay, Kamido with the follow Temple script. Temple script. Our born at a really sick start, but I mean we're just gonna gain fifty life this game, so whatever. Too bad we can't get back right. Man, they had a plan. They, this is like constructed level insanity. Sometimes you really want war cries. I don't know if I can actually afford to do this. I mean, they might be able to kill us next turn. I could have got sort of a Karya to hit this or something. But I like kind of getting my war cries on. That doesn't really make any sense. Maybe I should have taken them off power. Whatever. I guess once the sword dies, I could have got it back. Oh, oh God. That's scary. That's scary. We're at 26? Was I supposed to smuggler stash first? Maybe I'm supposed to swing with this. I'm not sure. Yeah, this still doesn't kill us. It just makes me nervous, right? Because I can't do this and this next turn. So it could kill us over two turns. Alright. If we lose... Oh, I just want power. Oh, I got punished for taking a turn off of this. Wait, you swinging with this? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16... 20. I can't believe he's attacking with Flight Lieutenant. This seems insane. This seems like actually nuts. Okay. I mean, they're dead. They're dead. So we're not really concerned about dying. Uh, he knows we have Hellfire Rifle. We're going to kill him with it. But we're not going to be able to kill him with Lava Blood Goliath, which is frustrating. They're, they have nothing, right? Yeah, I probably should have just done this whole thing earlier. <sighs> so close to the swag kill, though. So close. Oh, they didn't attack with this. Whoops. He has a flyer. Shit. Oh, well. I can block this now. Oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. What was I supposed to do instead, though? Play Longhorn Sergeant? No, this is still fine, right? We're still fine? 6, 9, 13. 6, 9, 13. Yeah, we're fine. Never did it not have it, right? Don't scoop! No! Come on. We climbed to 8th and Masters. Climbed to 8th and Masters on the back of this deck. Alright, so I might not have played that last game super clean. But we got there. We got there. We'll take that. We'll take it. Seven wins. Seven and one with that deck for anybody that had any doubts.